Oh, the sheep. Mud pot? What? Oh, the sheep. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a pen. I'm certain they didn't. Let's talk about uh, They're probably more intelligent than you think. I do not believe that they are the mo they're all monsters. I'm sure those are just the warriors. Your father's done going to have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. Oh, great. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you've gotten yourself hurt? Yeah, everyone's probably going to freak ah, out. Mama, look! The things must have fallen! Everyone's going to freak out because I'm a warm blood. Jump my fence. Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. Yep, yeah, it's one of those. She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Yeah, we're just carrying around a sword and we're a surface dweller, and I'm sure this doesn't make people uncomfortable. You beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bopo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Just like mother. I'm sorry. Or just, just like a mom, anyway. Surface. Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. That's a good question. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. Huh. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Oh, man. That's enough, Popo. You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again. Mama, I've seen them fight. They even got themselves a talking sword. I bet they could help. <laughs> Maybe. I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows. At least people are, 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 can, can, are observant in this game. I'll, I'll give them that. Stop saying that. Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry, and my paws done gotten real sick. That's why I went out to find some more of that water. Huh. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water, but just a few weeks ago. Oh, that's just like what's happening up on the surface. The but that's the rivers and the streams are have dried up a little that. bit. I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water huh. dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh. oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So, hmm. you're heading down to talk to the lady now? This is interesting. It seems like a, a racial oh, war. Go. Well, you just don't go running off again. You got my word. A species war? Has been going on or something? Some, some, something's going on like that. Um, you discover the small village of Mudpot deep in the Siraman Caverns. Bopo's father is dying and can only be saved by a creature called the Lady. Explore the village to find a way to her chamber. Yes, I, I guess so. So, I don't know 
what exactly else is going on down here? I've got... Oh my god, I'm getting more side quests. Oh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What? Me? It's a flying cat! <sighs> so she's enchanted. She's not a cat, little girl. She's a... I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Digit. Maybe we've met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands! Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, um what's your name? Smobop. Smobop? Well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Ooh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Box thing? Hey, Dust, look! That must be Reed's box! Hmm, tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew, good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Huh. Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... <laughs> hey! Oh, level up! What? That was random? <laughs> I was just talking to a little girl, and then, like... I don't know if they could see those explosions, too, but I just randomly, like, blew up and jumped backwards and whatever. Anyway... A better fidget, Smobop in... That's an interesting name. Smobop in Mudpot insists that she must have fidget. Resisting the urge to give her the real thing, you decide to find her a suitable, a suitable replacement, preferably in the form of a fidget doll. Your best bet would be the shopkeeper in Aurora Village. Okay, well, next time we're there, we'll definitely check that out. But I have more things, which seems like we are just doing the same old dance that we always do. So, yeah. Got some stuff here. What is going on over here? I, I need to explore a little bit before I stop this recording. Well, hi there, big fella. What the oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> well, you're yeah, gonna have to pause to see that. Pick through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thought, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy. Take this red resonance Ooh. jam. It'll open up the basement, and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hidden stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly oh. just too gale darn lazy oh, like to right. go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks, after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blop. If I His come across Blop. your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Wow. Oh, Southern folk, how I love you so. You guys are great. Now, seriously, I Southern people are pretty awesome. <laughs> oh man, wow. Okay, so if I go up here, what, what, what is this? There's there's treasure around here. There's stuff. I did not get to save. Damn it! All right. Well, we Blop has lost his hitting stick in the area below mud pot. Retrieve his stick so he can get back to hitting things as soon as possible. Oh. Shut up, Juice. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh my god, it's a sheep. <gasps> Wait, did you just... Hmm? Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah. What? Ooh, Kaden. 
It's a black sheep. Oh my gosh. What is it? Seriously. What? What? Okay, no, no, nope. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's Gappy Sheep. Ah, uh, that's awesome. It's so cool. What the? Whoa, am I am I already really back at the top? No freaking way. Well, I got the red resonance gem, so all right. Well, I guess now that I'm here. This is where I will save if the game will let me. Thank you very much. So, awesome stuff. When we come back next time, we are going back into the underground to get more things done. I've recorded a whole lot today, so I'll, I'll try to get some of this up tomorrow, and that would be good, tomorrow being Sunday. So, you're probably seeing this today, which is Sunday, so hey! But uh, anyway, if not, uh, like I said, I don't know how much I recorded, but uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, and see you guys next time. Later.